Hi and Megan have both talked about what we want to accomplish today in terms of strength, collectivity. I want to talk with you about what process we've defined to bring that about. And uh, the process has been kind of a, a long time in forming and uh, has evolved over time because it's sort of a challenge to figure out how uh, to convey a lot of real of important information, as Carrie was saying, about where the money is, who it is, who it serves, and then also to be able to process that information, to be able to hear each other's stories, to kind of get to know each other a bit. So what we've done with the agenda is to alternate presentations within table group discussion and then coming back to talk in the large group or report out and um, and then presentations again. So that's kind of the rhythm of it. What's different about this meeting, because a lot of you, how many, I'm sure all of you, how many have been in, you know, setups like this that are conferences, it's, and which is in small table group discussions, but one of the differences is that for these, we have defined, we have three table discussions that are fairly structured so that they focus on, get a specific focus down on to help each table answer the questions, some questions related to what you've just heard so that we can kind of drill down, we can, can share our views and we can develop kind of a group thought process because that's really what it's all about is trying to create a group thought process for our collective strength. So. Um, What, wait, look at this. So I wanna orient you to your folders that you have on your table. Oh wait, this is my chapstick. <laughs> Give me my pen. <laughs> okay, so in your left pocket, there's two kinds of things. One of them is the agenda that I just told you. I won't go through that blow by blow, but what I want to talk about a little bit is what's at the top of handout A, which is, should be right under your agenda. <coughs> and at the top of that is kind of detailed. don't need to read it word for word, but I put some of it up here that the overall purpose is to develop ways to fight cuts only budgeting and also cuts only thinking. So to do that in large group and table group, we'll hopefully come out of this having defined our priorities, shared some of our struggles and strategies, found out, we keep hearing is that Portland's broke, so let's find out some more about that because there's many people in here who feel certain that it isn't. And then to share ideas for real long-term solutions and then to identify some near, mid, and long-range strategies for following up, because this is just one meeting, and if nothing <coughs> comes after that brings us together, then we won't have done all that we can do. So, products we hope for, clarity on priorities, form a group to plan an actual participatory budget, and you'll be hearing a lot more about participatory budgeting later on and how powerful it's been in some places. And then, essentially, solidarity, pledge to support each other. We all have various campaigns going on, and we can, we can turn out the numbers. So, so that's overall, that's what's on the top of your handout A. And then you'll see below that something that says assembly roles. And facilitator, that's me, I'll be helping to scoot us through things on time and Megan will be helping with time as well. Um, participants, that's you. There's the presenters, there's the logistics, so that's the planning committee table there and the logistics team table there. Megan said a little bit about the planning t uh, committee. They will be roving around to the tables and uh, to hear what's going on and, and learn from all of you as you'll be learning from each other. There's a lot of resources in the room, so we structured it so that we get to, to really take advantage of that. Um, the logistics team people, so you, you'll notice you each have a number on your table. You have a person, kind of like in a cafe, who is from the logistics table there, who will be kind of taking care of, your, of two or three tables. So that means if you run out of water, that's them, you don't have to get up, waste your time. But if you do want to get up, the food, you can, you know, we're self-managing here. So the restrooms for the women are there. Where's the men's restroom? Right that away. <laughs> and we're self-managing in terms of food, so if you're hungry, you know, don't suffer, go get some food. 
Um, we do have breaks that are happening as well. Um, they're, they're combined a little bit as working breaks some of the time, but, but you'll see that on your agenda as well. Okay. So, about process, you see hopefully a pretty good mix of people from the community here so that your various interests are, you'll have a, have a good diverse discussion. Um, covered that. We have cell phones. Can everybody pull out their cell phones and put them on silent at this moment? Or turn them off? <laughs> um, what else? I mentioned the worksheets. We'll get into the first one in a minute. They're on the, the right pocket of your folder. Um, so I want to talk with you a little bit about that the logistics team people will not be facilitating, they will not be recording. Again, in the spirit of democratic self-management, we're sure that at your tables that you can pick somebody who's a, who can be a recorder, <coughs> jot down your key ideas concisely, someone who can report those out when we get to the report out time, and uh, someone who can keep time, because that's important. And on the, for each worksheet, you'll notice at the top that it says total time. Usually it's 15 minutes, sometimes 20, sometimes 30. And then we will write up here in the front of the room when the report outs are due, and we'll give you a bit of a warning about that. For writing up your chart paper so that you can report out easily, You'll see all these easel stands around, and some of you have them with your tables, and that walls are also papered. Do whatever works for, to jot down your ideas. Um, what else? What am I missing? Okay, the, again, the, oh, also facilitator. Everybody can be facilitated. That's the ideal, right? But at your table, you might want to pick someone who, to make sure that you all are. And that's the usual ground rules of, that you'll see at the bottom of your handout A, of listening for understanding, uh, speaking one at a time. Those are the usuals. And, and I have two other favorites. Who's familiar with step up, step back? Somebody quickly tell, tell us what that is. One of you? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, you don't make it. So if you're someone like me who likes to talk a, a lot and has lots of ideas, um, I, I, in a group setting like this, uh, my job, if we have accepted a, a step up, step back ground rule, is to step back and allow space for folks who are quieter or especially um, um, communities that are traditionally underrepresented. Yeah, okay, and the step up part, if you're, I'm actually an introvert, I like to think for a long time and then three days later I might tell you what I thought about. And so if you're that kind of person, I'm not that way when I'm facilitating, but I am that way the rest of the time. So if you're that kind of person, then you push yourself a little bit. And then also what Megan was saying about the step back, it isn't just giving space, sometimes you can be the people that really draw other people out. So. I would suggest that as well. And then my absolute favorite is called WAIT. And it stands for, why am I talking? <laughs> it's a good, good reflection. <laughs> okay, so, so let's get into the first, you'll see on the, in your right pocket, oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. This yellow colored piece of paper, this is a, article that we included because in a nutshell it really captures everything that are the challenges that we are exploring today, examining today. So you have that available to you when you have time to read it. Um, the first worksheet, blue, worksheet number one, which we are ready for. Okay, so the first thing to do when I turn you loose to do it is to quickly choose the recorder, the timekeeper, etc. And then, as you'll see on here, I'm going through this more exhaustively than something this simple really requires, just because it's the first one. And that is individually, each one of the worksheets say, do a little bit of just thinking on your own, meaning your table should be pretty quiet for a couple of minutes, because one of the things about step up, step back is that if you, 
it, it, it equalizes participation. If we've already written something down, we're much more likely to say it. So it equalizes the participation rather than just the most extroverted people talking. Um, so though you see the three things there, what's most important to discuss today, what do we most need to learn from each other, uh, what do you think would be the best outcomes by the time we leave the room, then uh, after a couple of minutes, then just go around like a round robin and say your name, your interest or your organization, share your hopes for the day. And then just discuss that and write down, whoever your recorder is, what common themes are. You can write it on a small piece of paper and transfer it to a large piece, start on a large piece, all walk over the wall, whatever you want to do, because we'll be reporting out in 15 minutes. So at um, just after 2 o'clock is what I'm going to write up here. Okay? Any questions? Well, Trudy, I was going to suggest that people who are like either me, for instance, go to a table that there are more people. So oh, thank you. And I know this. Yeah. If you have, it's. <laughs> that's that's why I pointed you out. You know, I know that. Yeah, to have a good group dynamic, it's ideal to have about eight people. So that's why we ordered the eight people-sized tables. So if you could join, you know, if you have fewer than eight, if you could think about joining somebody else, that would be really good. Okay, so you can start.